Hello, my name is Sisi and I'm a Ugandan medical doctor. Currently, I'm a core psychiatry trainee working in the UK. Postgraduate specialty training is run nationally by Health Education England. It's not the same as a master's and it's not offered by universities like it is in other parts of the world. So you don't apply to a university to go into specialty training. Training jobs are part service provision and part educational. So you don't have to pay tuition and you will in fact be paid. The salary is split between Health Education England and the NHS. So I know like for my case, it's exactly 50% by the trust, which is the employing organization and 50% by Health Education England. So you do have to see patients clinically, you have to run clinics and do that, but also you have protected teaching time and have also membership exams and things like that. There are two types of training programs. One is called a run-through program. This is where you apply at once and from the beginning, you're a specialty trainee year one up to the end until you finish. For instance, GP is a run-through program, so you're an ST1, 2, and 3 until you finish the program. There's also a CAMS program, that's child and adolescent mental health, where it's a six-year program and you apply and for six years you go through as an ST1 up to six. Other specialties have an uncoupled program where you apply initially for the core training that you do first and after that you will apply again for higher training in the subspecialty of your choice. For instance, for psychiatry, there's a core training that is three years. For surgery, it's called core surgical training, that's two years. And then for internal medicine, there is internal medicine training that is three years as well. When you're done with that, then you apply for the subspecialty of your choice later on. This range is from between five to eight years. So the total length of training is roughly five to eight years. The shortest being GP, that's only three years. At the end of your training, you get a certificate of completion of training or a CCT. This is what you then use to take to the GMC to apply for registration on the specialty registrar. At this point, you will be a consultant. You may also choose to just do the core training and not progress further. At this point, you would be called a specialty doctor. Sometimes these are also called middle grades or staff grades. For a British medical graduate to be eligible to apply for a specialty training program, you need to have completed your entire foundation program and that's two years of foundation training which in other countries is called internship or in some places it's called a house job you obviously need gmc registration which is what gives you a license to practice medicine in the uk this is obtained in several ways but the commonest of these for international medical graduates is a pass in the club test if you're an international medical graduate meaning your medical school was outside of the uk then you need to prove that you have the competencies of a foundation year to doctor it is possible for an international medical graduate to do their foundation training in the UK. And if you've done that, then great, you're eligible to apply for specialty training. If, like most people, you haven't done your foundation training in the UK, then you'll need what is called a CREST form. So a CREST form stands for Certificate for Readiness to Enter Specialty Training. If you haven't worked in the UK clinically, but you want to apply straight for a training program, then it's possible to have this form signed from abroad. If you have worked in the UK for more than three months clinically, then this has to be signed by a consultant in the UK. The application opens about nine months prior. So for instance, to start your training in August 2022, then the applications open in November of this year. Training jobs start on the first Wednesday of August every year. And there are a few specialties that have an additional round where there's an intake starting from the first Wednesday of February. The application opens nine months prior. So for instance, the training jobs that start in August 2022, the applications are opening this year, November. So if you want to apply to start training Training next year then you better apply as soon as possible applications are all done via oreo which is an online centralized system where all applications are done for all specialties once you've submitted your application then you sit back and relax and then you wait there's something called long listing done so once long listing is done then you'll be informed so the long listing involves checking that you have the basic eligibility criteria that is, you fulfill the person specification, your GMC registration has been done, you've filled in the application form correctly, you've answered all the questions, they check things like spelling mistakes and grammatical errors. So take this application seriously. The person specification is basically the profile of the ideal candidate to fit a job. So each specialty has its own person specification. So I'll link it below. So have a look and see for the specialty you're interested in, what are the person specification? What are the essential criteria and what are the desirable? Once you've been long listed, then you'll be invited to sit the MSRA. 
that's the multi-specialty recruitment assessment. So there are certain specialties where you have to do an exam. These include general practice, psychiatry, radiology, obstetrics and gynecology, and ophthalmology. You only need to do the exam once, even if you're applying for multiple specialties. Since it's an online centralized system, then they'll use your results for whatever specialty. Before COVID, once you'd done this exam and you'd scored extremely highly, there's a certain pass mark above which if you didn't have to do an interview, you would be offered a job directly. After COVID, they suspended all interviews and they were basing on only the results of this exam. At the moment, some specialties are using digital interviews. You do the exam, have your exam results as well as your interview results would be combined to then give you a rank. In some specialties, like in psychiatry, they still haven't yet gone back to interviews. So it's only the results of your MSRA that are used. Your total score is used to rank you against other candidates applying for the same specialty. The higher you rank, the higher chances of getting the specialty you want in your preferred location. You're also given a chance to rank training programs in different locations according to your own preference. So it's good to have an idea of where you'd want to work, what would be your first choice, second choice, like that, and then you rank them. And then they're also going to rank the candidates as well. And then together, there's like a matching process where they get the best candidate for the best job available according to the rank there's a matching process after which you'll be offered the post you either accept or decline the post the whole application happens in advance so for instance for august 2022 intake the offers are going to be given in april of 2022 so that's four months in advance so you have enough time to either give you a notice at your current job or to either decide whether you're going to take it or not and then you also have enough time to apply for the visa and also arrange whether you're going to be traveling and settling in into the country if you're coming from abroad and then you start your training job if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up if you want to know the different ways to get gmc registration then watch this video